our next speaker, Dr. Etienne Sa. Um, are you ready? Okay. Okay. The next um, the next speaker would be Dr. Gracie Etienne Sa of UP Gaison. Thank you very much. Uh, my slides is still in the Philippines, probably. It's not yet on. But what I have just shared with you is something that we do as a simple theater activity. Okay. So you see, theater is present in any community engagement. Theater creates a venue for social interaction. It demands varying levels and roles of participation. It allows critical and physical engagement, like what we did, for the, from the community. And it calls for highly critical, concerted movement directed towards transformation. And it leaves markings of wisdom, which translates to memories, narratives, physical structures, and community action. Please. Any community has its own repository of narratives, distinct from any other locale. These distinctions are derived from the interplay of specific qualities of its geographical location, which are sources of narratives critically and creatively woven into markings of valuations set against its own language, history, and cultural priorities. The picture we have here is a performance of street children about life on the streets and performed along the streets of a heavily populated street in Malate, Manila. Uh, we, um, uh, we trained the street children to share their stories. Okay? And the theater, uh, this is an example of how theater embodies all these qualities as theater can be aptly described as an experience or what we call in our Filipino the danas experience which is drawn from the community's life or buhay life and transformed to become alive or buhay in theaters created and creative space so please click Boing. life Boing. We are doing. It's alive. So please click. Thank you. So this is just an approximation of the process that we undergo when we transform uh, materials, materials from life to make them alive in a theater space that we create. Thus, theater is life transformed and made alive through a living process in a created space. Participation and community engagement is a major concern in making theater alive. As narratives are made alive and ideas are realized and put into action by people, levels of engagement is an inalienable concept in theater. Actors take on roles and use their bodies as primary instruments to make the narratives come alive before an audience who partake of the experience or danas or reliving a sliver of life. Ultimately, theater could not but offer transformations since its very nature calls for action in response to a problem situation which is actually the very heart of any dramatic action. Thus, theater as it relives life transforms life. Thus, theater rocks. I use the term rock as an image of theater. In Filipino, the term is used the term used is talinhaga, or, the, or uh, the magical binder connection. As a common term, rock refers to a hardened mineral and soil found from the ground, or rock as in building blocks of structures that could withstand the test of time, rock as in a repetitive rhythmic movement to disturb or call attention to something urgent or to put things to sleep, rock as in rock and roll music performance. Rock meaning a marker of things or weights to help people pin down something of value. Thus, theater uh, is a marking or a theater rocks. Our own theater history in the Philippines is replete with theater as markers of great historical struggles. Please. 
Many of our national heroes were actors and playwrights, whose advocacy focused on using theater to convince people to fight for their independence from colonial rule. Please. The works of our national heroes like Jose Rizal, Andres Bonifacio, Macario Sakai, Aurelio Tolentino, have become markers of our rich historical past. They left us theater forms with clear messages on the importance of love of country and their innovative designs to move people to action using chameleon-style theater forms involving high-technology theater devices in the 1900s. Let me just flash some pictures of these examples for you. So please go ahead. Okay. Please. Ayaw. Okay, so here, uh, processes done in the communities are presented. Please just go ahead and uh, run the slides. <clears throat> please go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Ayaw. Okay, these are examples of community performances in our religious temples during the 1980s because they have become venues for community collaboration. At the time, it, there was an urgent call for us to come together to fight for our dignity and human rights. So the place were very valuable uh, repositories and avenues to call people to action. Please. Okay, this is an example of a sarsuela a musical theater during the 1900s where a number of nationalistic uh, concerns were raised by theater artists through the stage performances. Okay, more. Please, this is a picture of the theater actors in the 1900s. Okay, next please. And these are examples of uh, revivals of the 1900s plays done in the modern idiom. Okay. Go ahead, please. At that time, it was urgent to claim our national identity as the theater became a valuable instrument for communication and education. To date, the same spirit of using theater as tools for education, communication, entertainment, and community action has inspired theater artists. Various advocacies have used the theater medium to inspire communities to get engaged and transform. This is a picture of a theater performance in the streets during the 1980s. Okay, under martial law, under Marcus. Okay, next please. That is an innovation of uh, the Calvary of Christ by urban poor people. Okay, next please. This is a modern remaking of the story of Superman and Superdog. But it is taken from the point of view of, uh, it is, uh, what do you call, uh, it, it is uh, the construction of Superman and Superdog. Uh, the performance venue is that on top of a minibus. Okay. So since the 1940s, the university-based theater groups have taken their groups to task in bringing their place to rural communities. Their advocacies in using theater was wide-ranging, from simply sharing the experience of watching plays, sharing critical and social commentaries, to sharing the importance of education. Theater forms were far-reaching and wide-ranging, from adaptations of Western materials, formal theater in English, to original plays in the local language. In the past three decades, theater advocacies were geared towards addressing basic concerns that had to do with the ma managing the changing environment and the fast-paced life in developed communities. Participation and community engagement was a key target in the theater. Transformation was not only limited to the space created in theater and to the feelings of empathy, sympathy, or disgust that the audience undergo as they take part in the play. Community action was posed as an ultimate measure of success in theater's capacity to effect transformation. So these are examples of plays that we did. This one is about domestic violence. It's called Call Libi Manawag, a play about domestic violence. Please. And this one is a call for peace. It's a part of a peace campaign done by students from the Mindanao State University. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, allow me to share with you a theater experience which we had several, uh, several um, 
days ago in the coastal towns of uh, Maspate in Central Philippines. Okay? It is an advocacy for toilet and health education. And the play was called Hello Healthy, Goodbye Dirty. Please. This, these areas are targets of zero open defecation programs spearheaded by the UNICEF through the local governments. Um, through this play, <clears throat> the script was based on a scientific research of UNICEF and nature considerations were based on the motivations of shame and loss of face to motivate the audience to move build their own toilets and become healthy. Some songs and dances were used to demonstrate the fecal oral transmission of diseases. And the songs were composed using popular genre in the rural areas and were sung by actors using easy to follow movements which were taught to the audience in a style similar to mass calisthenics program. Exactly what we did a while ago. Okay. The fly and feces were made into animated characters for easy information dissemination. In one of the scenes where one of the kids was telling his story why he defecates in the open, he sings his narrative and graphically narrates how painful it is. This was done to further intimidate and shame the audience, uh, thus making them laugh further and, squirm and uh, squirm. After going through this grueling experience, the audience were made to choose among options to address the problem of the disease. Through game-like game activities, Pictures are presented in different ways to manage the problem, and um, these are presented to the people. They are challenged to identify the image of their community which they wish to present to the world. Throughout the play, the roles are done by community members who have been requested to perform cameo roles. This further encourages the audience to own the play and consider it as their story. Furthermore, local keywords related to the fecal oral disease transmission were used to bring the play closer to the audience. Characters and incidents used were also taken from popular icons. Original music compositions tunes were inspired by sentimental video K and jukebox hits, which has remained popular in many rural communities. The show was performed four times. These are uh, examples of the audience that which we worked with. Uh, we were targeting children because we realized that if you want to motivate a community to action, you go to the children because when you have an audience of children, you have their parents with them. So you target the whole community. So this is um, the reason why uh, we are uh, targeting the audience, uh, the children audience. All four shows moved people to action in varying degrees and intensities. The first show moved the vice mayor to pledge his support for the formation of a local theater group who would perform all over the municipality in support of the zero open defecation campaign. But the local government officials and the school administrators took time to bring the school children to the town center so they can watch the play. The government buses and trucks were sent to remote schools to ferry the children to the town center gymnasium. The second and third shows made the village health workers took turns in setting up the shade for the audience while others helped the performers fix their sets and technical needs. The women folk helped prepare refreshments for the performers while the rest became stage hands, helping the actors borrow hand props for, from nearby houses and helping convince some school children to participate in some scenes. This occurs in almost all community theater performances. But the fourth one, the fourth show, showed us a very interesting reaction. At our, uh, one mother was asking, asking the performers if they had brought urinals for distribution. She said that her family has been preparing a hole in her backyard and to set up her urinal. She was ready to build her toilet in her house. And we thought that this, this is the ultimate test of the theater's impact in creating transformative action. Thus, theater here is identified not only through its capacity to mimic life, but more so by its capacity to transform a problem situation through various levels of engagements by people who are directly engaged in the community as well as those who are engaged through the magical link created by theater. Roles are done by people in varying degrees and qualities of participation, from bringing audiences to being technical support to organizers, researchers, and performers. Similarly, 
The performers also did their part in contributing to the advocacy through their expertise in physical time. More than three months was devoted to preparing for the show, from research to writing to mounting the scenes, doing choreography work, composing the songs, recording the songs, and preparing logistical and technical needs of the production. All this contributed to the realization of a sliver of life which was made alive through a created, created space. So what does it take to realize this community engagement? Please. It takes actors to make this kind of theater happen. And that I dare present a new brand of actors to mean artists, community-oriented teachers, organizers, researchers. Actor, A-C-T-O-R. It underlines the inalienable role of the theater artist as a community servant whose work faces unending challenges as it negotiates its effect on the audience's life. It poses the same challenge taken up by any artist, that of continuously improving its artistic craft to be able to translate life's idioms into more intelligible, intelligible forms of expression. However, the community orientation sets the direction for service against the usual concept of theater for fame, fortune, or popularity. As actors, the primary motivation is to disseminate ideas and information to engage the community to action. Please. Okay. So please, some more. Education and critical thinking is an important component in the process because transformation necessitates a clear understanding of a mission which the audience has to take part in to be fully realized. Skills in social mobilization as well as research is likewise important since the objective is not simply to amaze or entertain but rather to enjoy and encourage transformation among community members. Please. So you can see how uh, this actor is now training two children to participate. No? So that's another level of uh, participation. Some more please. Some more please. So mobilization is done in the grassroots level. Some more, please. Thus, to be an actor requires a shift in theater orientation, from being limited to individual self-expression to being committed to service and the common good. It is the community who takes center stage, and the actor initiates, explores possibilities, and facilitates community action. The actor takes on the responsibility of preparing the community and works towards creating markers of distinction specific to the community's needs and cultural priorities. Theater is presented as life in its living form, an initiative in improving the people's quality of life. Thus, theater is participation and community engagement par excellence. It calls attention to specific urgent concerns of the community and creates a pleasurable disturbance, enough to move people to take up an action and transform in its own terms. We have explored various advocacies which are urgent to the communities, such as disaster management, reproductive health, adolescent sexuality, domestic violence. Communities of school children and university students, local government units, leaders, policemen, health workers, artists have come together to get engaged in specific advocacies for a common good. So theater's capacity to transform life is endless. Thus, indeed, theater rocks. Do you rock? Let's rock and roll. Thank you very much. Thank you. Braso at kamay Sa muli na mahal to Palihibabaw at pagitan Mahuli-uli itong gawin Kahit tinilin sa Palawang mabuti Sa mga rin malinis ay punasan Itaas sa hangin Ang inyong mga kamay Isa, dalawa, tatlo At kumaway kaway Ganyan lang man
Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ektinza, for I mean wonderful changing of gear and your first activity really bring us, um, you know, bring back us uh, a childhood memory. I think for everyone here, and thank you for shedding light on the idea of our theater as the embodiment of life. I think that's great. It's wonderful.